Hi, so in the previous tutorial, we see how can we write dynamic queries like this query is for equal condition, this query is for like and this is for end query. So today we will see how to set projection on the query. So before seeing this tutorial, it is highly recommended to see my previous tutorial on dynamic queries. So like this. Uh, this is a so this is a query like select star from employee data where employee dot employee address is UK. Let I don't want all the object. Okay, so like I only want name of the employees like this. So projection is basically used for this purpose so let me just show you by example so this query will return all the employees whose addresses uk So when you see there is a method set projection, you can provide this and then use property factor util dot phone name and give your property name. So like name. So in this case, there is no employee object. So we can get a simple object. So let me just print this. You can type cast it to a string or something. For now, let me just deploy this. So it's deployed. Refresh the page and look, only the name is printed as in our query. So let I just want to print one more thing. Name, let me just reverse this. So this looks nice. So I want employee ID as well as name. So for this, I need to create a projection list. Then add our projection in this. So I want to print employee ID. So till now we just create a dynamic query object, provide a condition employee address must be equal to UK and then create a projection list and add our columns here. So now
and that's it provide your projection ht so in this case this method return a object of l so like the first in this so at zero index we receive employee id and on first index i receive name so let me just deploy this and it's deployed and look projection can also be used for aggregation function like average maximum so like i want to find So I want to find the maximum ID was address UK. So for this just So it's simple, we have a dynamic query and we have projection for employee ID. So just press this and you can see there is a function max and that's it. Deploy again. Refresh Okay, so it will return only a List of object So refresh and look max id is 4 so this is all for projection you can also use order clause and other things like add order and this will take a Not ascending or descending, so like So this will return 
employees in descending order. And look, it's four and then three, so it's in descending order. So there are many functions, so all the function is not possible to explain in video series. You can check my blog for other functions like conjunction and disjunction. So go to my blog. Click on dynamic queries and look. We can also perform join operation by using dynamic queries and conjunction and injunction clause, order by clause, and projections and dynamic queries. So you can check all the other operation by yourself. If you have any problem, you can comment below. So if you like the video, hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.